That's just the cost of living. You already know how it is. Back to Hicks on this beat. Jella made another one. Big C Productions. Cost of living. The base cost of living. Cost of living. The base cost of living. The cost is shifting. The cost is always shifting. Chase a check. Still can't pay my rent. Cost of living. The base cost of living. Cost of living. The base cost of living. The cost is shifting. The cost is always shifting. Chase a check. Still can't pay my rent. Two houses. Both don't cost the same. Why is that? Cause they on different terrains. Opportunities, busting out the roof. Half a mil, but we only got a roof. Buying houses, cheaper when they new. Get your money's worth, that really ain't the truth. Inflation, damn that market grew. Now that got us, $10 Mountain Dew. Price relies on the bank's ability to factor in people's credibility. SF is one of the top cities. In proximity, we need the necessity. Cost of living, the base cost of living. Cost of living, the base cost of living. The cost is shifting, the cost is always shifting. Chase a check, still can't pay my rent. Cost of living, the base cost of living. Cost of living, the base cost of living. The cost is shifting, the cost is always shifting. Chase a check, still can't pay my rent. Through California, the cost be anything. It's hard to sustain, but who can we blame? Oh, oh my lord. lord, these prices insane. Race, age, and one's yearly wage affects their borrowing that really has to change. During COVID, people started selling because they thought the value was declining. They started fleeing, choosing out of state. In reality, it all was just bait. When building houses, you really need the land. Constructing houses, East Bay is the plan. Cooking up, I'm like curry in the stew. Nah, Cam, you know your rent is due. Cost of living, the base cost of living. Cost of living, the base cost of living. The cost is shifting. The cost is always shifting. Chase the check. Still can't pay my rent. Cost of living. The base cost of living. Cost of living. The base cost of living. The cost is shifting. The cost is always shifting. Chase the check. Still can't pay my rent. As a former realtor, how have you seen the market increase and or decrease in value throughout the years? And like, why do you think that has like happened? Okay, so for, you know, it's always like economical, the reason why, you know, something is happening in the in the market, then it affects the real estate market. And 2008, I think was the biggest impact to the real estate market. Um, and that was because of the financial market and banks and things that were going on with banks and borrowing. So it all has to do with, um, you know, can, can, can consumers borrow or not? and how expensive is it to borrow um, and how accessible is it to borrow. And so a lot of people were qualifying for loans that should not have qualified for loans. Mm -hmm. And so when this happened prior to 08, um, that's what caused the, the crash. But in, in the banking system that if they're letting you borrow that money that you can pay. So it's also kind of like on credibility too, is that? Yes. In fact, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so they're definitely looking at your credit reports or definitely looking, looking at um, your income your yeah. debts, everything to make sure that you can make that mortgage payment. So then um, with all of those factors, does things like race, age, like does that also have an impact on like everything that you were saying earlier on buying a house? And Yes, and it definitely does because it, um, it impacts, let's say, um, your wealth, right? And, you know, we kind of know some races um, are wealthier than others and the banking market the banking structure actually does um, look at that. And if um, if someone is a minority and they don't have as many assets and as much wealth, 
then that can't impact their borrowing power. Prices are obviously way different. Like, why is that? Why does it fluctuate so much throughout California and the Bay Area? Mostly demand, so most of the jobs. So it's it's mostly um, where are most jobs located, located versus others. So if people have to commute, right, then that makes that the East Bay less desirable than where all the jobs are. Um, so that's something that, you know, it, it's the land value more than the building value. So the land value in the Bay Area in San Francisco and, you know, everything that San Francisco is, right, you're by the water. Um, so pe people want to be um, by the water or want to be downtown. But another big thing is in San Francisco, you can't say I'm going to build um, six new house construction projects because there's no land, right? But if you're in the East Bay, there's more land where that's accessible. Yeah. So the demand for San Francisco is tighter, which makes it more expensive than if I say I can build 500 houses in the East Bay because there's land, yeah. then the demand isn't as as high as San Francisco. Right. Yeah. So then like transportation too, and the fact that like SF has such good like transportation and all of that, like accessibility. Um, yeah. So and things. culture. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then we had another question about like the specific like cost of housing and like how inflation factors into that. I was like, what actually, like what does inflation do to like increase or like maybe even, I don't think it decreases, but like possibly decrease the cost of like a house. So inflation kind of changes the same thing. Um, it, it's always with um, supply and demand, right? So with high inflation, it's people are worried about spending. Um, and because everything else in their, everything else in our lives costs more. So that also influences if someone wants to move or not, or if somebody wants to buy. 